We've all had to manually renumber items after adding or deleting rows in Excel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create auto numbering lists using the sequence function that updates automatically as you enter data. Let's get started. Here we have a list of people attending a training session and we need to number each attendee that gets added to the list. Instead of manually numbering each person every time we add someone new, we can create an auto numbering system using a couple of simple Excel functions. First, we need to build the numbered list using the sequence function. So I'm going to select the first cell in our numbering column and enter the sequence function. Next, we need to enter the rows argument, which is the number of rows we want in our numbered list. Right now we have five people attending the training, but if we just enter the number five here and press enter, this won't automatically update when we add new people to our list because we hard-coded the number of rows to five in our formula. So here's the trick. Instead of entering a fixed number as the rows argument, we can use the count a function to calculate the number of people in our list, and the sequence function will return that result. So let's go back into our formula and replace the five with the count a function to count the number of cells containing names in our list. Now we need to select the entire range that our list could potentially be. Don't be shy here. I recommend selecting way more rows than you'd expect because if someone enters a name outside of this range, the formula will not pick it up. Once you've selected your range, add the closing parentheses to complete the function and press enter. As you can see, our formula numbered each of our five attendees and every time we add a new person to our training list, the formula automatically updates and numbers them accordingly. You can even take this a step further and make this a proper number list with a period following each number by adding an ampersand sign followed by a period in double quotes to the end of your formula to add a period to each number in the list. Now you know how to create auto numbering lists that update on their own using the sequence function. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Excel tips and tricks.